Now we're going to talk about cleaning the key surface and the keyboards and all of the area that sees all the work. Um, again, this is a Hammond organ. This particular model is an A105. So for purposes of cleaning, um, we opted to clean all of the key surfaces. This organ, again, it's been in a home, so it's in fairly good working condition. Uh, there was no need to at this point in time to take it all apart and for example buff all the keys individually. Um, this, it hasn't had coffee spilled on it, uh, it's been well maintained and taken care of, but it did need a good cleaning. So this video is for those of you who are opting to want to clean the entire surface and get it back to where it's looking new without actually disassembling the organ. And there's a lot you can do to make that happen. So if you look, you can see we've got all of those corners nice and clean. And this is a matter of, <coughs> you want to come in here real tight and clean. There's spaces in here and you can get in there. Now you get in there with the rag and try to clean it with your thumb or something, you're not going to get right in the corner. We actually went and cleaned all these corners out, all these edge lines out with Q-tips. Um, and they work fantastic. And you just put some, you know, you can use just a basic cleaning product, uh, even just an all-purpose cleaner. A mild cleaner like Windex works really well. Um, don't use a detergent cleaner like Fantastic or 409 or something like that. Uh, then we went through and cleaned off all the switches. You can get in here and actually clean off a lot of the gunk. This area gets very, very dirty from people using it. In this organ, we could barely read the letters on the run and start switch. And that's a matter again. Now this we cleaned with a toothbrush, and we use the same basic, you know, a water-based cleaning product because we didn't want to take the finish off, uh, and it, we were just amazed at how well it cleaned out. We do the same thing in the other corner down on the other end. That cleans all the nooks and the corners out. Cleaning this surface around the tabs and cleaning the actual plastic tabs, cleaning all of the keys, both upper and lower keyboard, uh, all done with a mild detergent cleaner. Again, something like uh, Windex or something like that works fine. You don't want to get anything that's too abrasive because they are plastic and you don't want to hurt the plastic. Now, cleaning the drawbar surfaces, we did the same thing. Again, these tips are plastic, so you can go through and clean all of these. Uh, be careful if you're going to go in between the drawbar shafts. What I opted to do is there's a lot of oil and gunk that builds up underneath these tabs and you can't get in there to clean them because this takes up the space. I took a fine rag um, on the end of a plastic putty knife that was very narrow and I was able to slide that in there two or three, slosh it around, push those in, slide it into the next session, push it around and cleaned it up really nice because you want to get this black surface as clean as possible and then down on this end same situation where you want to go in and you want to clean all the corners as much as you can we clean the vibrato area with the toothbrush clean off the top of that knob clean all these toggles again we're not concerned about if it works we're just trying to clean the plastic if there's things in the grooves around these toggles uh, a q-tip works really fine you don't want to use too much water you don't want anything to run down inside there cleaning the keys themselves. Uh, all we did was wipe them down with that basic cleaner. Pretty sure it was a Windex type cleaner, all-purpose cleaner that we used. Don't let it dry on there. And then to clean the sides, all we did was hold, you can hold the key down and you can get this side clean. And then hold this down and you can get this side same along here along the blacks. And you'll notice when you're cleaning it, uh, the first couple times you rub it, although the key may look clean, first couple times you rub it you're going to hear that rag shh, 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 shh. And then that noise goes away and you tell that you've gotten the keys clean. There are minor scratches in these keys from 50 years of being played but again you can look and see it, it wasn't worth uh, disassembly and trying to buff them all by hand. This was all done with the organ assembled.